So I so listen, and if this next guy keeps it up, you know, he'll replace Marino uh, on Mount Rushmore. Uh, because you know, we're ready to put Tua Tonga Valoa in the Hall of Fame after uh after he outlasted. Go ahead, take that. <laughs> Go ahead. After Go ahead, just out, try. I mean, I can yeah, listen, uh, sarcasm aside. Just, sarcasm aside. Just get to it. Yeah, just get sarc- to it. Take it. Take it. I, listen, I put it in my feed. I put it in my feed. I I am right about the fact that I'm wrong. I knew when I made a big fuss about the Dolphins and Brian Flores. Replacing Ryan Fitzpatrick out of the bye with Tua Tungavaloa, I knew he was going to ball out pretty soon. And I knew it was going to look like the right decision because I think the kid's a good player. I still stand by what I said, that the timing was questionable. But hey, if he's just as good, if not better than Fitz is right now, clearly the right move is to let him start playing, get better, and maximize his upside. And the kid looks like the real deal uh, after last week's game. All I'll say is this. Fitz could have done that. That's not the point, though. If Let the rookie do it and let him get comfortable and let him start to improve week to week. Uh, he looks like, you know, as everybody said, like the moment's not too big for him. He looked composed. He looked poised. We know he had the physical traits. So listen, man, I'm never one to, to not admit when I'm wrong. It's rare. See, I don't have a problem admitting, admitting that I'm wrong because it's so rare. It's not something I have to practice a lot. So every once in a while... Who cares? Sure. Okay. They did the right thing. I was wrong that the timing was off. They did the right thing. I I said what I said, and the Dolphins look smart. Good for them. They finally have their long-term quarterback, provided the kid can stay healthy. Just don't go... It is. It is. (laughs) Yeah, okay. I have a pretty high batting average, you know? I do. You know, one day... Great on-base percentage. This this is what I think we should do. Just Boy. to really to keep the honesty and the transparency going, I think uh-huh. one day we should have, instead of having uh, traditional fact checkers on the show, one day <laughs> we should just have our wives come on the show mm-hmm. and just talk about just how full of it we are and how we and how we just talk in trash and we, we, we're speaking with authority about things that we really don't know about. I just really want our wives to come on and call us both out. My wife would not participate in that conversation because my wife has come to learn that if more people listen to me, life would be a hell of a lot simpler. So she, oh, she's okay. come to realize I, that. She has come to... And yeah. I'm not saying obey. I'm not saying obey. I'm saying that my wife understands that at the end of the day, nine out of ten times I'll be proven right. And I'm not saying I'm, I'm a know-it-all. I know believe. what I know. I know Sarah what I know. That. Okay? There's a difference. What I don't know, I don't speak on. I know what I know. Okay, but when you think you know something, so this and I think and this nine out of ten, I can tell you where where your miss is right now. That Jets, that Jets take <laughs> is awful. <laughs> That's awful. That's just bad. I mean, well, like I, I'd like you to just is it though? St- is it though? Step away from that one before five. No, it's not. It's okay? not. It's if not. It's not wrong. Uh, listen, I'm, I'll, listen I, I will take my medicine on this, and if they end up taking Trevor Lawrence, it doesn't mean it's going to be wrong, but they got to do right by him, is my point. I mean, we, sh- we we just talked about this with Ryan Tannehill, who didn't look as bad at Miami as Sam Darnold does in New York, but we right. talked about Ryan Tannehill. It's like, don't tell me Going that we right know situation. all about quarterbacks. Thank you. Yep. And then Nora... After she sided with you, and I understand, she proceeded to break down what the Bills have done to support Josh Allen. So if you're the Jets, can you actually say that you've done the best you can to develop Sam Darnold? And maybe Trevor Lawrence is better. He probably is better. He probably is. But if you draft Trevor Lawrence and make the same mistakes around Trevor Lawrence that you did with Sam Darnold, you'll get the same result. Tua Tungabaloa... Looks you good. Get the same result. But they've done a great do. but they've done a great job of supporting him with a good defense, and he's got decent players around him on offense. Go ahead. Yeah, you do the same thing with Trevor Lawrence, and you're just gonna get fired. Okay. You'll have a oh, better yeah, result. You won't that. be 0 yeah. 9. <laughs> you just get fired. Yeah, there's okay, that. that's it. Yeah, exactly. Um, but exactly. you mentioned uh Tua Tunga Vailoa, and he's in Miami. And the reason he's got the job in Miami is because Brian Flores, the head coach, said, Okay, I'm gonna make the switch going from Ryan Fitzpatrick to Tango Vailoa. And I, I have on there that, that uh, Brian, Brian Flores breaks the mold because we talked about it. I don't know if you remember like first week of the show or second week about Bill Belichick assistants and how many of them make mm. that mistake of just trying to duplicate what he does. 
But Brian Flores has never been like that. And I'm talking about before going to Miami. He, like, he's one of those guys, and it's too bad that the nation didn't get a, didn't get a chance to understand what was happening. Uh, in 2018, the Patriots win the Super Bowl. They hold the uh, L.A. Rams to three points in the Super Bowl to clinch that, 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 that game and to put the, the jewel in that season. Brian Flores was a defensive coordinator, and he changed. this was not a typical Patriots defense. He was much more aggressive than his predecessor, Matt Patricia, now in, in Detroit, and the players really responded to it. This was not typically what a Bill Belichick defense did, but he convinced Belichick and the players to buy into it. And the shame of it, Mike, and we talked about this a little bit earlier, but I really want to bring some light to this because I don't, I'm not sure people know how the process works. Just like here, uh, you know, NBC Family, Sunday Night Football, CBS, ABC, ESPN, all the talent, they have production meetings with the coaching staff and the coaches will give them some insight that then they will take to the broadcast booth and they'll tell you things during the broadcast that they have learned from the production meeting and, and watching practice. In a lot of mm -hmm. cases, what they project to the nation, a lot of people just take that. They just internalize it and say, that's a fact. So for example, if you're at a production meeting and you're talking with Bill Belichick and then the Patriots go out and, and uh, have a dominating defensive performance, the average analyst will say, that's a Bill Belichick defense. But the hardworking, detail-oriented analyst will say, that is a Brian Flores flourish on that defense. Mm -hmm. And that didn't happen a lot, quite honestly. It was disappointing to me. It didn't happen a lot in 2018. Brian Flores didn't get the credit that he deserved. It was more because when you work for Bill Belichick and you got a good defense, what are people going to say? Hey, it's Bill Belichick, but it wasn't. Right. It was Brian right. Flores, and he's doing the same thing in Miami. He is not just doing the standard Bill Belichick disciple thing. He's his own man, and uh, I, I think it's really paying off for him. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave, and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on Peacock. Appreciate you.